All right, this is my uh, video. Well, first of all, welcome. Uh, this is Mythological 77. Right now, I'm gonna show you my video of a build that I did uh, from with the Toys R Us Stealth Glider. Um, not quite as good or as large as the um, the Airhawks Titan, but I can't find that nowhere. Uh, it, it's, it's not for a reasonable price, anyways. Um, but if someone can uh, let me know where to get it, and for like 10, 15 bucks, I'm I'm not spending any more than that. Uh, it's not worth any more than that. But uh, just please leave a comment at the bottom of this video, so I gotta help me out, so I gotta come make do more builds and give you guys more ideas, and vice versa, you guys can give me more ideas. All right, thank you. Watch this, Giovanni. You gotta get out the way, puppy. All right, this is my stealth uh, glider. Um. Right here, I have an engine mount with a, uh, it's an Exceed, I don't know if you can see that, Exceed RC 2205 1800 uh, KV motor. Uh, this right here is holding by wooden dowel, wooden dowel goes into the foam right there. I just took a, a, a hot wire and poked into it so the, um, the uh, square dowel went all the way into it. Um, and yeah, she's a little ugly. Uh, right now with all these wires but um I have an 18 amp speed controller I'm pretty sure that's more than enough uh, for what I want to do I have a 7.6 prop go pee -pee. Go pee -pee. Go pee -pee. I have a 7.6 prop on here uh, right now I have a 500 2 cell milliamp battery uh, Turnigy at uh, 20 to 30 C which is way overkill for this plane, I mean C rating, but that's good. You always want to um, overdo it when it comes to like ESC and batteries, because uh, you don't want to get it warm or failing on you when you're up uh, up in the air. I also have uh, made some ailerons. It's a three-channel plane. I have ailerons come to this servo right here. I should have probably dug this servo in a little bit more, so it ain't at an angle as much going from the top of here to the wing, because that's a pretty steep angle as you can see. But, I mean, it works just fine. Oh, wow. My son tried to grab the controller, and as you see, he turned the throttle on. and tried to grab him in time, but it didn't work out. But, the prop saver works just fine. Prop is fine. Um, I have, I'm about to attach it here again. I want to show y'all the, um, it has plenty of, uh, pulling capabilities. Um, I, it's not directional, I can't steer it, but, um, there goes my elevator. What I did with this is, uh, I put a wooden dowel right there, because I ran out of carbon fiber rods. Um, right here, I'll show you. Around this area right there where you see it cut off. Uh, that right there, uh, from factory, they put it they give it down elevator. Alright? And because you see, that's at an, uh, an angle to go up. So you flip it around and it'll do those loops. But um, that's one thing I don't like about it. Uh, I haven't flown it yet. It's been a little bit too windy. Um, I'm going to try it, but I made it extra nose heavy since I know it's going to be since um, the rear uh, elevator isn't flush with the uh, wing. So, hopefully, uh, that counteracts the nose heaviness. So, that's why I made it a little extra nose heavy. And, uh, let me see. That's about it. I don't know about this um, rear stabilizer right here. I think I might have to make that rudder a little bit larger uh, for a more stable flight. Uh, but we'll find out in the next video. I also spray painted it red right here, red on top. Got a little flame right there. I bought me a nice little $20 um, uh, airbrush kit. I used it for the very first time. I painted the bottom blue, as you can see right there. And I painted these stripes on here. Just to give me, like, if it does fly well and it's in the air, I know which side's which. Yellow and red is for the top of the plane. My blue bottom and striped wings are for the bottom of the plane. So, I mean, hopefully all in all is an easy build, fast build. 
Um, hopefully it turns out really well. I used some landing gear I had for some kit that I bought not too long ago, but decided not to, uh, decided it was a piece of crap, and so I put that in there. What I did was I traced out the uh, wires right there, and in the foam, I cut it with a hot, I mean, not a hot, but a regular X-Acto knife, and then I put those the wire into the foam, and uh, then I hot glued it in. This back here is uh, just a popsicle skewer, yeah. as you can see, a tail dragger. I'll probably put a, a stationary wheel back there that I have from one of my other planes. So, um, that's what's going to happen right there. Uh, right now I'm using my little cheap tactic ES, uh, receiver and my ta cheap tactic radio, which um, came with another plane that I had bought about a year ago. Uh, still works great. So, uh, let me hear if I put this, uh, put this prop on for you. Take a seat, watch it. Watch it, Bobby. Alright, just hold on one second. Bear with me. I do apologize for the wait. Okay. Is this my motor? Oh, this is your motor? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Why did I fix it? Why did I fix it? Mm -hmm. Because, man, you took the other one off. Because he pressed the gas. So daddy's fixing it. And I'll fall down. Mm -hmm. so, All right. Excuse me, puppy. I want to see it. All right, you are going to see it. Watch. As you can see, um, move. As you can see. No, Giovanni, stop. All right. I'm going to do it half throttle. Well, she had more room. But that's not even, it even pick up to its full speed, full throttle, and it just wants to, and it just wants to go. Uh, the whole thing weighs about 13 uh, ounces. I don't know how many grams that is. You guys convert that on your own. So, um, I mean, all in all, pretty light. I mean, it's a um, small plane. I think a 35 inch wingspan. Um, back here. As you can see, this came out at an angle like that, like that. But it's hard to put um, elevators on an angle like that. Uh, so, and there's so much trouble. So what I like to do is t took a ruler, cut it straight all the way across. As you can see, straight all the way across. And I took a piece of um, insulation foam that I had laying around, and I cut it out. It's about an inch and some change wide. Not sure exactly. I did it the inch, uh, the width of the ruler. That's why I don't know the exact measurement. Um, put a control horn on it, and uh, as you see here, I ran a um, uh, push rod. So I had bits and pieces of push rod. So what I did was take a popsicle skewer. I put hot glue on the popsicle skewer. Then uh, this right here is um, shrink tubing. And I put the wire on the uh, hot glue, covered it with the shrink tube tubing on the popsicle skewer, and uh, took a lighter and uh, lit it up for the heat shrink to uh, gra grasp down on it. And I did that for both sides here. And it works really well. It doesn't flex at, uh, barely at all. I'll demonstrate. You know, you don't have to worry about it too much. It, you don't have to worry about it bowing, so it's very stiff, and I like it. This right here are heavy-duty gauge metal push rods. I typically would never use them, but like I said, uh, uh, desperate times call for desperate measures, and I really wanted to stay in the air. What I'm gonna do also is um, I'm gonna place a tow, a, a tow uh, apparatus on it that I bought from Hobby King for like a dollar some change or two dollars and what I'm going to do with that is uh, I'm going to connect it to probably like right here to it with uh, another plane like my uh, uh, my uh, Wild Hawk get it up in the air a good 200 feet and then uh, release it let it glide once it's gliding, you know, we'll be able to use the uh, motor once it's up there. And uh, 
hopefully she flies very, real good. Uh, we'll find out. And I wonder if I'm able to modify my uh, my wings that I had for my uh, my um, my Air Hulk Titan for this plane. Because that'll just give it that much larger of a wingspan, that much more uh, gliding characteristics. I mean, I think it'll make it that much better, that that much better of a flying machine. I mean, but if you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, uh, please post it right down there in the comment bar. And uh, thank you for watching. This is Mythological 77. Peace.